Hi everybody, my name is Nox and this is episode 10, yay, of Let's Talk with Some Random Guys and also the best and most awesome YouTuber in the world, presented to you in high definition. This episode is recorded on the 26th of October 2011 and our special guest is Rolf David. Hello everyone. How are you? I'm very good, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine too. For the ones who don't know you yet, tell <laughs> something about your channel. Uh, well, it's mainly a, a redstone channel, at least it started out as a redstone channel and then it's grown a little, I got a let's play and I got some, you know, basic tutorials of piston logic gates and stuff. I guess that could count towards redstone as well, but yeah. mainly redstone. And how did you discover Minecraft and what were your first thoughts? Uh, I first saw it at my best friend's house. I went over to see him and his younger brother and his cousin was playing this blocky game which looked like crap and they dug a like two by four wide hole into a mountain and hide had what's the present no not present the past term of hide. Well, they were hiding from zombies, at least, and I thought it looked yeah. really, really ugly, and I couldn't understand why they were playing it. <laughs> and then, like, 30 minutes later, both me and my friend had bought it as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what do you like about Minecraft? The endless possibilities of it. You can do pretty much whatever you want to, as long as you can imagine it. Yeah, how did you get the idea to make YouTube videos? I didn't really get an idea to make a channel like that. I had an old YouTube account. That's why my account is called Sir Dava and I call myself Rolf David. A long time ago, I used to call myself Sir Dava. Uh, okay. And then, I don't know, I wanted to show uh, two other guys. I think it was Emil and Tim that I had made a minecart station. It was, I think it was the first redstone creation I ever made uh, and I wanted to show them it and the easiest way was just to upload it to YouTube and yes. it kept on going from there Oh, do you mean your cell block tutorial? No, it was... I can't even remember what it's called anymore It <laughs> actually used an R two orange snore latches which one of them wasn't needed at all and <laughs> I didn't even know it was an R snore latch at the time Okay. Okay, and if you could add one thing to the game, what would it be and why? Ooh, that's a hard one. I think I'd like gears into the game, because that's probably something that could be implemented with redstone to make very cool stuff. I yes. think that the Better Than Wolves mod got some kind of gears in it, Yes. but I really suck with mods, so I haven't tried that out. <laughs> and if you could remove one thing, what would that, what would that be? What would that be? Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, remove one thing. That's harder than adding something. I can't really complain about anything. Well, of course I can. I do complain a lot about <laughs> a lot of things, but I, I, I shouldn't say... I wouldn't say that I wanted to remove anything, actually. And did Minecraft or YouTube change you? Uh, well, it gave me a lot less free time. <laughs> but other than that, no. Okay, do you have any future projects or goals you want to achieve with your channel? Uh, well, I'm hoping to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I think I'm at, at 8,200 something. So I got about two months to get 1,700 subscribers. That's, I think that's the only goal I have at the moment. I haven't dared to make up any other goals than that since uh, at the moment my time is very limited due to school and work. Okay. Do you have any role models on YouTube concerning Minecraft or in general? Uh, I wouldn't really say role models. I, of course, I do. Well, I guess I could call all the people, all the people that I've subscribed to role models because I get inspiration from all of them. Uh, some guys you might have heard of from me earlier is, you know, Doc M and Static and Joker HD and get those guys. Um, 
I also, in Minecraft Attic, he's got some great redstone stuff over there, and I, he's, he's very, what do you call it, he's very innovative when it comes to doing these small things useful. Oh, okay. He doesn't do a lot of, at least he didn't before, do a lot of big, complicated stuff. He just took a great thing and made it even better. Okay, now it's time for the FAQ part, and you had the chance to ask your question in Rolf David's latest video, and now we will answer them. So, can you show us a picture from yourself, or can you do a vlog? Ooh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh, it's vlog is very hard to say if I'm ready for that. A picture is more likely than a vlog, I'd say. Depends on if I, I have one or two uh, Minecraft related things I like to do in real life and then I might need to record it and then that might count as a vlog perhaps if I don't edit uh, my face out <laughs> what's your favorite redstone thingy it doesn't have one uh, to be one that you've built a favorite mine's redstone thingy uh, I mentioned Minecraft Attic just a minute or ago, minute or two ago, he made a sort of a typewriter that typed Minecraft with water using oh, delayed water pistons. Yes. That that's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It just you know, it's so innovative. And also the the piano. I don't know who made it. I Disco. FV Disco. Okay. Yeah, I saw it on the front page of the forums. Yeah, that, that these videos are very popular. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Okay, do you play an instrument? Uh, I, I do. I play, mostly I play drums. Uh, I'm not in a band, but I got my drums at home here. I got a, okay. a drum kit in the bathroom, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that might sound. It's the only place in the house where we can fit the kit. Okay. And then I play a, a little guitar, but I won't. I wouldn't call myself a guitarist because I'm not very good. And what's your favorite mu music genre? Uh, I mainly listen to rock and metal. Uh, well, a lot of Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath is great. Uh, I haven't listened to Metallica much lately, but I've listened to them a lot during my years and also more progressive stuff like well Frank Zappa he's amazing I could just like sit in a chair and smile while listening <laughs> his stuff and also a lot of dream theater and porcupine tree oh, I, oh my friend was on a concert of them oh, I haven't heard of them before but dream theater or porcupine uh, porcupine uh, oh tree. I envy him I've wanted to see them but I haven't Okay, when does Let's Play 18 come out? Uh, as soon as I can record it. Um, today is Wednesday. Yeah, so it should have been out today. Uh, actually, it should have been out last week, I guess. But <laughs> uh, then I didn't have time. And two days ago, my graphic, cards, graphic card started to bug out. So I actually went into town and bought a new graphic card today. But then I didn't have the... Time to install it? I have actually... Uh, well, I got it in the computer, but I don't have oh, the okay. power adapter thingies for the uh, wires so that I can actually oh. use it. So I have to go to oh, town tomorrow bad. again and buy an adapter. Okay, now a uh, uh, really uh, often asked question. Rolf, can you please teach us some Swedish? <laughs> uh, oh, Swedish. Well... What you need maybe in a video yeah in a video I can do uh, what's the most important things to know in Swedish uh, en öl tack you you need to be able to order beer when you get to Sweden <laughs> then you say en öl tack okay, <laughs> okay uh, can't you do the piston series without a schedule like you just upload something whenever you feel like it uh, that's probably a good solution to keep the series going it, I removed it from Mondays simply because I didn't have time. So whenever I can slash feel like it is probably a good 
thing. So they might be out every now and then, but not on a regular basis. Do you understand Danish people? That would be nice. <laughs> no. I I really I don't understand Danish people and I don't understand Norwegian people. They seem to understand me, but I can't <laughs> understand what they're sh saying even if my life depended on it. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Can you teach us how to make those crazy redstone computers people make, like Captain Sparkle's rock, paper, scissors thing, or a calculator, or something like that? Uh, well, yet again, time is a problem when it comes to this, these things, because they take a lot of time to build. They take a lot of time to explain, and that's, I don't have that kind of time at the moment, I'm afraid. Mm, do you have any advice for new YouTubers just starting Minecraft videos? Uh, well, it's it's hard in the beginning, you know, uh, to get views. You can make a video and you get like 10 views of it and you feel like, why aren't people watching my videos? It can be pretty damn awesome and very informative, but it's hard to get out there because there's so many. Uh, there's one very, very good video to watch uh, if you want advice, and it's a video that uh, Static made. I don't remember when he made it. Uh, yeah. Maybe we could link it in the description yeah. of this video. Yeah, I do. Good. I will. Uh, I suggest you check that one out because it was pretty good. Okay, what do you think of the magical direction Minecraft is taking in the 1.9 pre-releases? Well, I don't think it ruins the game. I think before they added all this magic stuff, it was basically just dig dig build dig dig build and <laughs> while redstone. that yeah redstone of course uh, while that's pretty much what I'm after that's why I play the game I can imagine a lot of people being bored of it and then this adventure thing could you know extend the game even further yeah, so I, in short I like it do you have the Minecraft Pocket Edition and if you do do you like it uh, I don't have the full version. I did download the demo to try it out. I got an um, uh, HTC Desire HD, so I don't have the Xperia Play with the nice controls. But okay. it was pretty easy to control, even with a cell phone that doesn't have those special buttons. Uh, there's no redstone in it, so I'm probably <laughs> not going to play it much, I'm afraid. But if you're just into building houses and stuff, why not? It's like a creative mode on your phone. Okay, where do you get your inspiration for redstone creations? I get a lot of inspiration from subscribers and people who watch my videos. Who They all come with this tiny suggestions of things and then I got one suggestion in one one video and another one in another video and I can put them together into something that I like and also my friends that I talk with daily got quite a few suggestions of cool things that I perhaps could be able to make so my friends help me out a lot as well Okay, now a funny one, and it's actually the last question of the uh, FAQ part. Is your name Rolf, David, or Rolf David? <laughs> well, it's... Uh, I, I guess you could say it's all three. Uh, I'm actually called Rolf David, but not with the... Uh, what's the English word for it? The line in between, I don't have that. A it's hyphen. A hyphen, okay. It's two separate first names. Oh, okay. But my and how actual, do people call you? My actual uh, first name that people do call me in real life is David. Okay. So that's it for, f uh, for the FAQ part. I hope we could answer all your questions. And now back to the interview itself. Do you play alpha games than Minecraft? Uh, I do. I play... Right now I play some... I've actually installed GTA Grand Theft Auto 4 again, which I'm playing awesome. through. Uh, Nico Bellic is so hardcore. <laughs> and then and I play GTA 5 is announced. Yeah, I saw that yesterday and I was very, very happy. Yeah, and me too. And then I play some uh, Heroes of New Earth. Uh, pretty much all my friends play it, so I play it with them. 
and they have to suffer with me because I'm probably the worst of us. <laughs> uh, I think we're all va waiting for Dota 2 now. Dope. Oh. And then, of course, tomorrow I'm going to start playing Battlefield 3. I love, oh, the I love the Battlefield series. I've played all the games from the first one. Is tomorrow the release date? Yeah, in Sweden at least. I think oh, that okay. like Korea and a few other countries already have it. And I know like England will get it on Friday and so on. But Sweden, in Sweden, we'll get it tomorrow. I'm not sure. I haven't pre-ordered it, even though I'm a fan of Battlefield. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Are you excited for the full version of Minecraft? And what should it look like to you? I'm excited. Um... And what should it look like? Well, I, I want it to look like pretty much as it does now. I think it's a good game as it is. You know, it just needs some tweaking, minor things, and uh, uh, a few bug fixes. Though I need to add that there, I haven't played any of the 1.9 pre-releases really. Uh, I'm, I think I'm still on 1.8 on my computer actually. But okay, I like it as it is. Um, for the ones who don't watch your Let's Play series, are you going to Minecon or can we expect awesome footage if you go there? I'm afraid that I won't be going to Minecon. It's it's very expensive to travel from Sweden to USA. It's like... I don't know how much it is in dollars or euro, but it's 5,000 Swedish kronor, which could be... I'm not even going to try and make oh. the exchange there because I'm probably just going to fail them, the math and make a fool out of myself. <laughs> okay. D uh, do you think there is an end of a Minecraft hype? And if yes, when? Well, or there will be an end of a Minecraft hype, not there is an end of a Minecraft hype. Sometime. It, uh, there probably will be. Uh, I don't know. Really. I think it's actually starting to go down right now. The hype I don't think the hype is there anymore, but now that there are so many people playing it, it's like they get the regular people coming in and buying the game anyway, just because there's so many playing it now. But Can you imagine Minecraft 2? No, not really. But that's a, that's a great thought. I w how could it look like? Dig more holes? <laughs> <laughs> Dig bigger holes. Maybe. <laughs> Have you ever thought of quitting YouTube or can we count on you? No, that's never been a thought. Uh, some people have thought that I've died or went to a coma or something <laughs> now that I haven't been updating as regularly as I used to do. But I promise you, I'll, I'll be here as long as people like what I do. Though the channel might change a little, but I'll still be there. Okay, we are already at the end. Uh, a last sentence to your fans or do you have maybe one to your German fans? Now I should be able to say something clever in German. <laughs> Keine Problem. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I sh you should have prepared me for that one so I could have come up with something smart to say in German. <laughs> Doc is going to oh. be ashamed of me now. <laughs> I'm, sh not, uh, I'm sure he won't. <laughs> or shall we cut for a second and then <laughs> we think about it? <laughs> no, that, that, that's, okay. that's cheating. We're doing <laughs> this the hardcore way from start to end in one take. I'm. I think in one of your subscriber specials, you where you said uh, thanks and three questions, you did it in German as well. I did. I'm not sure which subscriber oh, special. Yeah, I, oh. yeah. I said. Danke. Right. I. Yes. <laughs> I wrote it in letters in the game. Right. Yes. Danke schön. Okay, and to your English fans or English speaking fans Thank or you Swedish all fans. For listening. And okay. Yeah, we are, we are already at the end and yeah, I'm not sure which um who will be in the next interview. I uh, some people are on our list, but we are not sure which will be the next interview. And I'm not sure when it will be uploaded, but you will see if you subscribe to us in your sub box um, or 
I think on uh, if you're a friend or something of else, you see it on your front page of YouTube. Go subscribe so right away. <laughs> and subscribe or love it so that we can hit 10,000 uh, subscribers until the 31th of December. Okay, so that's it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>